Hello, fellow science fiction enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of Peter Watts' Echopraxia, the second book in the gripping Firefall series. In this dystopian future, humans have awakened an ancient, intelligent predator, the vampires, which they've essentially enslaved. But that's not all. There's a religious group called the Bicameral Order that taps into a hive mind supercomputer to uncover fundamental truths about the universe. But what's truly mind-blowing is the concept of the digital universe and God as a virus. So, let's dive in and explore these incredible ideas. The concept of the digital universe stems from the field of digital physics, which proposes that the universe is fundamentally pure mathematics. Every event that occurs can be seen as a computation. This doesn't necessarily mean the universe is a simulation, but rather that it functions as a giant computer. Physics serves as its software, and matter as its hardware. In this universe, every movement of particles is a calculation within this vast supercomputer. In the universe of Echopraxia, the digital universe is widely accepted. The bicameral order's discoveries through their hive mind supercomputer are incredibly accurate, surpassing traditional scientific methods. They find evidence of a mysterious presence, which they call, God, breaking the laws of physics and causing miracles. However, this, God, is not an entity but a process, a master algorithm defining the laws of physics. The mind-blowing concept arises when considering that God, in this digital universe, is more like a virus within the system. It can violate the laws of physics at will. If the laws of physics are akin to a universal operating system, then God, by definition, breaks them. This leads to the startling revelation that God is not an intended feature but a bug in the system, capable of manipulating reality. The question then arises, is the universe operating properly? If God is a bug, what does the correct universe look like? Altering the fundamental code slightly might render a universe unable to support life, and perhaps, life itself is just a parasitic offshoot of a corrupted operating system. These concepts challenge our anthropocentric view of the universe. Perhaps human life is just a cosmic fluke, and the universe wasn't made for us. Echopraxia encourages us to ponder our place in the grand scheme of things and to question the nature of reality itself. And there you have it, a glimpse into the mind-bending concepts explored in Echopraxia. The book takes us on a thought-provoking journey through a world of vampires, zombies, and intriguing scientific explanations. If you're hungry for more mind-expanding ideas, stay tuned for my upcoming video on the longer analysis of this amazing book. Thanks for watching, guys! If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on my future uploads. And remember, we are just scratching the surface of the captivating concepts in Echopraxia. Until next time, peace!